Safras, the deceiver, says the word Christianity doesn't even exist in the Bible. Now, let me show you why they're dishonest like their prophet. The word Islam doesn't exist in the Bible. The word Muslim doesn't exist in the Bible. But the Quran says that all these biblical characters said we are Muslims and the religion is Islam. So you see how he just buried his religion? So Safran, you wicked deceiver. Can you quote in the Quran where it says, where Jesus says, I am Muslim, religion is Islam? No, the main thing is... Okay, God say it again. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. God says Islam no, is... No, I don't know. We don't believe your God said that. My question is simple. Answer directly. No tap dance. You asked Jesus. You said Jesus didn't say Christianity. In the Quran, does Jesus say I am Muslim? His disciples do. Did Jesus say I'm a Muslim in the Quran? Yes or no? The disciples did. Uh, we're going to get there because I'm going to bury you because that's what I want you to say. <laughs> I'm going to, well, hold on. I'm, I will. I was setting you up for it because I know you're stupid. You're going to fall for it. But first, did Jesus say I'm a Muslim? Why did, no. Did, you're going to answer the question. I'm going to have him bounce you. Did Jesus say I'm a Muslim? No, but Jesus said. Say it again. Wait, worship. don't rush. Say it again. Jesus said, worship Allah. That's not what I asked you. I know you can't be honest because your prophet wasn't honest. So you admit Jesus didn't say I'm a Muslim. Second no, question I want to ask you. Did Jesus say the religion is Islam in your Quran? Does he say that? No, but Allah. Say it again. Allah no, don't rush. Don't run like a coward. No. Okay, now you just said, everyone heard you. The disciples said they're Muslims, right? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to bury you because I want you to open up First Peter chapter 4. Peter said that we are Christians and that's our name. First Peter chapter 4, 16. So Peter, the disciple, said, we are Christians. And that's the name we bear. And we should glorify God in that name. However, if you suffer as a Christian, <laughs> do not be ashamed. But praise God that you bear that name. So right. Your criterion, I want everyone saw it. You couldn't show me from your fake book where Isa says, I am Muslim. Or Isa says religion is Islam. He said, but his disciples said, but then in my New Testament, the real disciples of Jesus said that if you suffer as a Christian, not Muslim, don't be ashamed, but praise God, you bear that name. You just got buried by your criterion. No, no, no. So you you, stop yourself and stop some your some you Some you changed the topic. My argument was where did no, Jesus say? No, I didn't change the topic. I showed you're a deceiver like your prophet. Because if you're going to ask me, where Jesus says Christianity, I'm going to ask you where Jesus said Islam in your fake book. No. I'm going to use the same measure to bury your God. So you believe you believe Jesus, yeah, didn't preach Islam. Don't change the topic. Yes, Jesus is not a Muslim no, because if Jesus, Muslim, if Jesus is a Muslim, he have to be a child molester like your prophet going after a six years old girl, advising his followers to go after children to have sex with them. If Jesus was a Muslim, should be accused of stealing underwear as your prophet being accused by his gang his own companion if jesus was a prophet he should be lasting after his, his 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 relatives and women around him sleeping around like muhammad even his own son daughter-in-law he slept with her and he took her as a wife if jesus was a muslim he should allow you that you can curse using the faith the name of god in vain if jesus is a muslim he should say to you don't worry you just say 100 times my name and your name is forgiven if you touch the black stone your sin is forgiven if you kiss the black stone your sin is forgiven if you go and do hard walk around the camp your sin is forgiven but jesus opposed all of those he says the one who heard the little one is better for him to put a mild stone in his neck and throw himself in the deep ocean that is about aisha jesus said that it doesn't matter how many times you say to me lord lord but the one who do my father will you almost them you say 100 times inshallah you are going to heaven what kind of a scam this scam is and god he promised you if you are saying that jesus is the same as the muslim and he's a muslim then how come jesus he promised us a holy heaven where there's no sex no marriage no sexual religion but in your god Allah will make your penis endless and your balls is so small and the women she will have a vagina fit for that shut up and if Jesus was a Muslim you are insulting my Jesus my friend you are calling Jesus a Muslim this is the biggest insult ever for being a Muslim that mean being a follower of Satan and evil and lost and sexual activity which is not lawful that what Muslim mean? Okay, you're a prophet okay, being a promise. Hold on, shut up. You're a prophet being a promise to be to have the power of 40 men of people of heaven, which means the power of 4,000 men in sex. If your prophet is a man of God, I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, thank you. Take care. <laughs> Jesus is a Muslim. <laughs> that is a good one. Jesus is a Muslim. Jesus allowed us to do muta.
<laughs> brother and sister, Jesus was a Muslim. Uh, uh, and the other brother, if you see a woman in the elevator, brother, you can say to her, how much you charge me to take off your panties, sister? Sister, haram, halal, brother, this is halal. She's wearing hijab now, you know, that she is in the elevator with you. And, you know, lawful, lawful, brother. Hmm? And, brother, you can ask her, brother, to stay with you for three days, three nights. If you wish, you can increase. If you wish, you can decrease, brother. And this is a Muslim. <laughs> 